Welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Let's talk about hydraulic machines and its interview tips. So the first and foremost definition of hydraulic machines is all about in these types of machines the hydraulic fluid is transmitted throughout the machine to various hydraulic motors and hydraulic cylinders which becomes pressurized according to the resistance present. The fluid is controlled directly or automatically by control valves and distributed through hoses and tubes. So we got the question, what are hydraulic machines? Hydraulic machines are machinery and tools that tends to use a liquid fluid power in order to do a simple work. Heavy equipment is considered to be the common example for this kind of hydraulic machines. You can parallelly find the classifications over here. We'll move on to the next question. Why is hydraulic machinery popular? The answer for this question is the popularity of hydraulic machinery is due to the very large amount of power that can be transferred through the small tubes and the flexible hoses. Apart from that, the high power density and the wide array of actuators that can make use of this power. We got the next question. What is the fundamental feature of hydraulic system? A fundamental feature of hydraulic systems is the ability to apply the force or torque multiplication in an easy way. Other than that, it's considered to be the independent of the distance between the input and output without the need for mechanical gears or levers, either by altering the effective areas in two connected cylinders or the effective displacement between a pump and motor. So this is emphasizing about the fundamental feature of the hydraulic system. Let's move on to the next question. How the two hydraulic cylinders interconnected? If you consider about this one, cylinder 1 that is represented as C1. So the cylinder 1 is 1 inch in radius and cylinder 2 that is represented as C2 is 10 inches in radius. If the force exerted on C1 is 10 LFB, that is nothing but unit of work or energy. So if the force exerted on C1 is 10 LFB, the force exerted by C2 is 1000 LFB. Because of the reason is that C2 is 100 times larger in areas as C1. In terms of area, the specification is all about S equal to pi r square. Other than this, the downward, that is the downside to this is that you have to move cylinder 1 100 inches to move C2 1 inch. The most common use for this is the classical hydraulic jack where a pumping cylinder with a small diameter is connected to the lifting cylinder with a large diameter. So this is how the hydraulic cylinders are getting to be interconnected. We got to talk about the next question. The question is what is the condition for hydraulic fluid to work? So if you consider about this one, in terms of the hydraulic fluid to do the work, it must flow to the actuator or else we can say about it as a motor then return to a reservoir. The fluid is then filtered and repumped. The path taken by the hydraulic fluid is called a hydraulic circuit of which there are several types. So this was the condition which is emphasized for the working principle of the hydraulic fluid. We got the next question. What is mean by open center circuits? So if you see about the open center circuits, it is using a kind of pumps which is 
supplying a continuous flow the flow is returned to the tank through the control valve which is going to be open in the center so that is why when the control valve is centered it provides an open return path to the tank and the fluid is not pumped to a high pressure we got the next question what is mean by closed center circuits so if we consider about the closed center circuits supply full pressure to the control valve whether any valve or actuated or not once after that the pumps vary their flow that is it varies their flow rate and pumping very little hydraulic fluid until the operator actuates a valve so this is all about the concept of the closed center circuit We'll move on to the next question. What is hydraulic pump components? So, hydraulic pumps supply fluid to the components in the system. Pressure in the system develops in reaction to the load. Hence, a pump rated for 5,000 per square inch is capable of maintaining the flow against a load of 5,000 per square inch. Let's see the next question. What are the characteristics of vane pump? Vane pump is considered to be the cheap and simple one. And it's the reliable one. It's good for higher flow low pressure output. So here we have a depiction of how the vane pump operation is all about. We'll move on to the next question. What is mean by axial piston? Axial piston or axial piston pump was actually designed with a variable displacement mechanism in order to vary the output flow for the automatic control of pressure. There are various axial piston pump designs including the kind of swash plate and the check ball which are considered to be the most common one in terms of the swash plate pump. We'll move on to the next question. When is the radial piston is going to be used? So if we see about the radial piston pump, this was normally used for very high pressure at the small flows. So this is the usage and deployment of the radial piston. So the next question is as follows. What is mean by control valves? So control valves are nothing but a valve kind of device that regulates, directs or controls the flow of a fluid by opening, closing or else by partially obstructing various passage ways. You can find here the description of how the control valve is all about. We'll move on to the next question. What is reservoir? So the hydraulic fluid reservoir holds excess hydraulic fluid to accommodate volume changes from cylinder extension and contraction, temperature driven expansion and contraction, and leaks. So this is all about reservoir. So what is mean by accumulators? Accumulators are considered to be the common part of the hydraulic machinery. Their function is to store the energy by using the pressurized gas. One tube that means one type is a tube with the floating piston. We got the next question. What is hydraulic fluid component? Hydraulic fluid components is also known as tractor fluid and the hydraulic fluid is the life of the hydraulic circuit. It is usually petroleum oil with various additives that is additives.
we'll move to the next question what are filter components filters are considered to be an important part of hydraulic systems metal particles are continuously that is continually produced by mechanical components and needs to be removed along with other contaminants so what is mean by hydraulic tubes hydraulic tubes are seamless steel precision pipes specially manufactured for hydraulics the tubes have standard size for different pressure ranges with standard diameter up to 100 mm we'll move on to the next question what are the application used in hydraulic machines so the applications that are getting to be used in hydraulic machines are metal cutting machine tools metal forming machinery conveyor systems component test stands foundries and primary metal plants presses including cushions clutches and brakes and the final one as automated assembly systems so these are the applications used in hydraulic machines hope you got an idea of hydraulic machines thank you for watching this detailed video thanks again